What's up, everybody? First build of 2024, and uh, you, the fans out there, decided what you wanted, and you came down on the 1978 Ford Ranger Lariat, or Lariat Ranger, I'm not sure which is supposed to be said first. Short bed, all original truck except for the wheels and tires. This truck is really kick-ass, actually, just the way it sits. Killer body, killer patina, killer look, and as always, we're gonna fuck it up. So, 58% of you said Pro Touring, that's fine with me. 70% of you said Coyote. I'm thinking Gen 3 Coyote. As far as uh, if we're gonna add any power, sure, it's got a supercharger on the Gen 3, so we'll go with that. 77% of you guys and gals out there voted for that. As far as the chassis, you know, we've done low and high and air ride and everything. This one, everybody said, let's go static coilovers and make it just a tough, badass looking truck no matter what. As far as wheels go, obviously some billet wheels, maybe a little bit of a lip, a little attitude. We're gonna reach out to JTX on that and see what they could do for us. As far as the interior goes, what can you do? Bucket seats, bench seat, single seat. We're gonna go with uh, Resto Mod, because 61% of you said that, and that's a pretty good descriptive adjective. As far as the paint, it was too close to call. So, sadly enough for Mike Coy, he's gonna have to work on a car this time instead of just paint it, because we're gonna leave it in its patinaed state. But I want everything else to be shiny, new. I wanna polish all of this. There's a few small components that I may wanna change up. Uh, we're gonna chrome it, polish it. Everything just super, super nice uh, and what have you. Down low, but not too low. A Little bit of attitude, good sound, good brakes. Wheel it up, tire it up, throw a Gen 3 in there with, I say, you know, it wasn't even asked on here, but automatic or manual? I'd say manual. Manual. If we're gonna do a yeah. pro tour, he said like, Manuel. Of course he did. <laughs> Can we borrow your cousin? I can call him out and see if he's available for me. Right. Uh, yeah. Bad. I see we go with a six-speed manual. Sweet. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Give it a little bit of attitude and have some fun with it. Well, everything that you're describing is pro touring race-ish, other than a cage, exactly. but all yeah. new glass, uh, all new rubber. But I don't want to get too far into the rest of the particulars. I think I want to paint the inside of the cab and I want to paint the inside of the engine compartment and of course treat underneath. I want it to look like candy inside here, underneath and inside there. And then the rest of the truck just be super sexy and badass. You got an idea on color? On the inside? Yeah. Maybe a gunmetal, like a sexy gunmetal color, maybe factory color, but it's too bright for me. I think it needs to Maybe gunmetal. We'll just some we'll kind of offset. Some colors. Okay. All right. Or maybe something crazy. Like uh Green? Don't say God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> How'd you know what I was thinking? Do they make gunmetal green? It's not hard. Gun metal uh, we can green? make it. I don't know, man. Is that green? <laughs> Green's the color of money. So anyways, uh, what's the plan for you guys? Because I want to have this thing done quickly. How quick? Two weeks. Oh, that's a full teardown. Two weeks. Everything. Okay, for four weeks. Okay. Yeah. Four, four weeks, weeks is better, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that's doable. doable. How about 35 days? Because there's no pain. Well, there's... That's always really, the holdup. There's a little bit. It's yeah. never the holdup. It's there's always the holdup. Okay, it's always the holdup. <laughs> but it's still a complete teardown and a complete build. We're just not painting. So you get you're taking three days off the build. Okay. Three? Yeah, usually. What are you talking about? <laughs> three? That's the days you sit around and let paint dry. <laughs> three days. So I think that uh, with what we're doing, uh, Gen 3 Coyote 6 speed, you know, who do we got for a rear end? Uh, man, honestly, these have a nine inch in them. I think it'd be kind of cool to go in and actually build that nine and brace it ourselves. Everybody always talks about we buy everything around. I think it'd be fun to actually build this chassis out. You're setting yourself up for failure, Josh, because then you're gonna go buy <laughs> axles and you're probably gonna buy, buy some center gears, right? So then you just bought it anyways. Well, I mean, we I guess we get Ricky over there on, <laughs> what? We got, on the lathe and grind out gears. I mean, who the oh, hell do you no. think you are, that dude down in Austin that mines his own ore and makes the steel? <laughs> I mean, we have to buy certain things, but I still think that the building process God. of it, I mean, everybody would like, right? 
I, there's a certain amount of people out there that are gonna bitch no matter what, so yes. fuck them. Here's the curveball. We got a decent truck right here, mm -hmm. and we've got that uh, 78 4x4 that we drug out of a field. Oh, yeah. And I wanna get that up and running. Yeah. So, can we take everything that we take out of here radiator, uh, motor, trans, rear end, whatever we don't use, and stick it in there? I mean, yeah, this is a running and driving truck. It might need like a refreshing on the motor, but well, yeah. We can send that off to City Motors, mm -hmm. get the motor refreshed real fast, and then just buy all the basic stuff for that yep. truck, you know, just to rebuild kits for the front and rear ends and new springs and shocks and coils and whatever, and break it up and everything yeah. and get it. Cause I don't want to change that truck hardly at all. Yeah, no, I like that's that sweet. Truck. Yeah. Yeah, and it's also the color of my garage beer line. So uh, maybe we make that the garage beer truck. What? Mm. So, um, oh, wait, no, 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 we're not uh and out of this. Is that thrown into our 35 days though? Sort of, but I, it, both trucks being done would be nice, but Okay, if I you need my catch. help, I'll come back here. 35 days it is. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Get to work then. We got it. Kenny and I are doing a compression check on the OF100 just to kind of check the health of this motor before we try to put it in the garage truck. And it's what do we find? Up, it's coming up a little bit bad. <laughs> we have a dead hole in cylinder one. Yeah. So. Surprisingly, all the other cylinders are really good. I mean, they're pumping like 150 PSI compression. So uh, surprising that that one, number one, is a dead hole, which means it has no compression. So we're gonna pull the valve cover off and make sure there's nothing going on with the rocker arms um, or the valve adjustment. You know, if we got a valve hung open, obviously we're gonna lose compression. So we're just gonna check that. And if uh, tolerances are good on the valve clearance, then we got a hole in the piston, cracked ring or something. But I uh, definitely, We've got enough information to know that if the rocker arm doesn't fix this or, or the valve adjustment, then it's going to be off to the machine shop. I believe I can fly. Woo! I believe I can. Look at there. You don't always get that lucky. I would rather be lucky than good. Well, that's good. Because I ain't very good. <laughs> Holy oh my fucker. god, that is horrible. I tried to tell him. I ain't even gonna take it off all the way. Look, that's enough right there. That's nasty. That. He said it needs a refresh. Jeez. Mm. It's got a new rocker arm in there. <laughs> Third one. Man. I told y'all I had sludge. You didn't that's say nothing about rust, though. That's a little bit more than sludge, Ricky. Oh, there's no oh, doubt. The motor's got to come out a bit freshened up. We can't transport it to another truck. Damn, I thought you were fucking some new kid. Y'all gonna tell me some bad news? Uh, a little bit. See? That's why you don't look in there. I told you not to open it. I told you just to put it in the other... Now we have to do something about it. Well, if you hadn't opened it, we wouldn't know. I bet the compression chest was fine. No, absolutely no, not. No. It was a dead cylinder. Yep. <laughs> well, who the hell told you to do that? It was a running motor. We should have just pulled it and put it in the other truck. Now you're going to make me look bad because I said this truck was ready to drive to California. But you not to go to California. Yeah, you probably still can. Seven other cylinders. It, drove, it actually drove good. That's what doesn't make sense. It, it's ran good. What's wrong with you people? Okay. Yeah. Well, back to plan B. We had a plan B? Dude, I'm already on plan C. Okay. Getting out of here. There you go. If you are uh, an employer like myself and you have guys, the best way to get them to work faster is tell them you're going to come back there. So now I left them alone. They're going to get after it. Why do we put deadlines on it? Well, one, they're not fake deadlines because I really do want to get it done that fast. But two, we've got other stuff to do. It's early in the year. We've got a lot of things happening. So if we can get that done, get my other truck up and running at the same time with the parts left over, then boom, I'm getting a two for one. And uh, those guys have something to do. So. There you go. All right, here we go. We got to go ahead, right? Yep, finally, green light. Okay, yeah, green light. We're gonna start tearing apart the F100. Ricky Kenny got in there and tore valve cover off and realized that this thing is nasty and sludgy and rusty all in there. So what we're gonna do is pop this thing out, send the motor, get it refreshed and have it ready for the yellow truck. But in the meantime, we need to bust this front end off and try to not take as much apart as possible. I know. Mike wants us to tear a bunch of shit apart, but I say let's leave as much intact as we can because these clips get super finicky over time. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I mean, 
I want to leave as much together as possible. I'm going to start drilling all our locations. So do you have any input on that you want? No, no. I mean, every time I do it, I just use an eighth inch bit because then it's good to hold when it goes back. So. All right. Fuck. Kenny's even got an eighth inch bit to drill over I got it ready. I'm ready to I go. I got one over here. It's about to begin. So the point of drilling all the holes right now into all the hinges and everything is just to make the, the rebuild go a lot faster and go back to where it's supposed to be. Um, these eighth inch, you know, oh God damn it. These eighth, eighth inch, 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 these eighth inch drill bits uh, leave a, a good hole where we can stick like a pick or something in there. And as we're going back on, say with the hood like they're doing right now, we can throw that in there, tighten the bolts down, pull them out, and we know that it's exactly back to where it was when we tore it apart, which everything lines up great on this truck, and we want it to go back to that spot, so. All right guys, as you can see, we got our front clip off as far as the fenders, grill, core support. Um, now we're underneath it, we got the exhaust out, drive shaft out, we lowered the transmission, we're trying to get the transmission loose. Um, once we get the transmission loose, we'll drop it down. Then we'll come back down with the truck and pull the motor. All right, so we are calling it quits for the day, about quitting time. We got engine, tranny, Radiator, heater core box, brake booster, exhaust. Majority of everything that goes in the engine bay is gone. Now that what's left is to get the cab off, get all electric, electrical out and the bed. And then figure out what we're gonna do with the frame on cleaning it up before we do the rest. All right, so day two is underway. I'm um, doing a little cleanup before we really dive back into the F100. Basically, the goal of the day is to get all the way down to the frame where we can get the entire frame cleaned up. Ford commercial where this truck's driving over all the, the rocks and the, it's like a good articulation suspension. Yeah, yeah. And heavy duty built Ford tough bed bolts. And I can't even barely cut through. So we got this truck down to the bare chassis. Uh, we got the cab, everything off without damaging, you know, hardly anything. Uh, but <laughs> we're rolling on the build. So uh, what we're gonna do is get this chassis on a dolly or something, get it outside, get the majority of the heavy grease sprayed off of here because we're having a cool thing come tomorrow. We're going to get this whole chassis laser down uh, to the bare metal. It's supposed to work really good might save us some hours and you know some time and then uh while we're doing that we're gonna go through all the parts see what we want to keep what we don't and get this ride tech kit lined out What, what time is it? We had like four hours yesterday. Four o'clock right now. Four o'clock today, that's uh, it's nine to four with an hour lunch. 
We didn't have an hour lunch. Well, you know. It was about 40 minutes. Yeah. We didn't have a full hour. Yeah, so we're done pretty good. This truck is apart. It hasn't Frame's been clean. A, hasn't been a full day. It's been like a full day. Half day. Well, half day uh, yesterday. Three quarter. Yeah. Three quarter day. Today. And here we are. Now we get to enjoy the fruits of our labor. And the fan is going right now, too. Yeah. Uh, nap time. She I just took a shower. All right, guys, so we're super excited about this process. We are taking the original chassis back down to bare metal and we're using laser rust removal for it. So we got the guys from Rust Busters here to come and blast it down. laser stuff really worked out on like our paint and our rust and everything but when it comes to the frame coating it didn't quite get through to it so Mike had to take it home and him and Kenny are over there really heavy duty sandblasting. Mike's got like a big commercial rig. So while they're doing that me and Ricky are gonna hop on the cab get all the glass pulled out get all the trim yanked on the interior and just get this thing ready to be painted interior. Yeah that's it. <music> We are going with a more modern AC and heat system, so we don't need this giant heater box hanging out the firewall. So to clean it up a little bit, we're just gonna make a clean delete panel. Uh, got with Richard and he don't want it welded in or anything like that. We're just gonna make a nice factory looking bolt-in style heat or, you know, delete panel. So, which is pretty cool looking. How'd it go? It was an ass whooping. <laughs> it was extremely hard. Like me and Kenny just killed ourselves trying to get it done. <laughs> bust into our ride tech kit there is a lot going on here we're gonna build our own chassis with some ride tech stuff do some you know bracing and x bracing and hoops and everything for ourselves so we got the chassis welded to our chassis table everything's squared up all our measurements are the same on all four corners so now it's time to start cutting in the C notch and welding in the new one you know sometimes you see C notches that are bolted in and they're droopy or anything like that this is what we're trying to avoid by really jigging it up on the frame table so Time to start cutting. Alright, so C notches are in. We got the, the well, I say in. C notches are cut and they're slid on. We're going to pull them back off, sandblast them, actually weld them in. We want this all welded. And then tomorrow we're gonna come in and we're going to finish putting in the four link and the front cross member, the new Ride Tech kit. We got our 
seen notches in. They look great. Everything went good. We had a little hiccup with one of our welder leads, but uh, they're done. Everything's cool. But now it's time to put our four link mounts in. So this is the exciting part. This is the real suspension of the truck, you know. So gonna kind of mock this up, get it looking good, and then uh, weld this bad boy in place too. We got all the mounts put on the rear end. Everything's cleaned up. So now it's time to put our four link bars in. Test travel, make sure it lands dead center of these mounts. Make sure everything looks good. Pull it back down again. Uh, throw tacks where we need to and get it ready for paint. And then it looks like Kenny's almost done cleaning the front up. So we might actually get all the suspension in this chassis in one day. So that'd be pretty badass. suspension is welded up we're ready to go it's Friday night we're trying to... I can't even think straight we're ready to enjoy the weekend oh yeah Woo! it's supposed to be good weather I hope it's Texas it changes from every hour it's raining outside it's not Party raining time. no more <laughs> 